good morning student we have learned to find the place value of the given digits now we will learn to compare the place values so we will do third sum first of all find the place value of 8 in all parts then then see in which part place value of 8 is 80000 we will see that the place value of c part is 80000 so and circle or underline the c part like this solve for sum and and circle or and underline the part in which the place value of 2 is 200 in fifth sum find the place value of 7 find the place value of 7 ones tens hundred thousand ten thousand and lakh place value of first seven is seven tens four seven one place zero seven zero seventy And the place value of second seven is seven lakh or seven one two three four five one two three four five seven lakh. Now compare the place value of both sevens, seven lakh and second seventy. Compare both the place values. Seven lakh is greater than seventy, so seven lakh is greater. Now we will start to do worksheet five. To do worksheet five, I would like to tell you to learn these periods and places with the help of a table. The table is. ones tens and hundreds live in one house the name of house is ones and this is known as period of ones tens and hundreds next thousand next place is thousands and next is 10000 10000 thousand and 10000 both live in a house named thousands thousand so period of thousand and 10000 is thousands and next is lakh lakh lives in the house lakhs lakhs so period of Lack is lack. So you have to learn that one tens and hundred live in one's house, thousand and ten thousand live in thousand house, and lack live in lack house. So please learn the names of houses and their members, and then write them. in a table as shown on the blackboard now 
we can solve first and second sum of worksheet 5. The first sum is name the three periods into which a six digit number is grouped. Name the three period. Period one sum of periods? Ones, thousands, lakh. So answer of first sum is periods are ones, thousands and lakhs. Next second sum is name the places in ones and thousands period. Ones and thousands period ke places aapne batane hai. We can write answer. Second question. Answer. Places of ones period. Ones period ke places ko unse hoon hai. आपने बताया थे आपको वांस, टेंस एंड हंड्रेड्स एंड नेक्स्ट इज प्लेसेस ऑफ थाउजेंड्स पीरियड Now, to do third sum, use commas according to period. Starting from the right side, in third sum, we have to put commas like Places, ones, tens, hundred, thousands, ten thousands, and lakh. Starting from right side, count the places one, two, three. Means ones, tens, hundred. In ke house ko alag kar dijiye, comma ke saath. Thousand, ten thousand. In ke house ko alag kar dijiye, comma ke saath. Once tens hundred ये एक कोमा में thousand और ten thousand एक कोमा में और last बिल्कुल अलग तो starting from right side first of all we count the three places one two three put comma next two places one two two places put comma and then last Separate these periods with the help of commas. So we have to do homework. Worksheet 5. Thanks. Have a nice day.